again. So I'm back. We've got a, another hydrogen engine here. This is the one you've seen before. This is the four stroke 100, uh, 190cc, I believe. It's the GX160 clone. Uh, it's the exact same one you've seen before in a previous video. I think I posted one last year of it uh, powering some different devices. Uh, I've recently designed this new hydrogen carburetor. Uh, you've seen it in other videos on the two stroke and 50cc, which, which blew itself up. Uh, I've not put this carburetor on this engine, but I've modified the old carburetor to perform the same as this one, or it performs in the same way with the double linkage system. So now it's now the same carburetor design. I've also changed the timing again on this engine. Originally, I retarded the timing eight, eight degrees. I've now set the timing to exactly top dead center. Uh, I noticed a lot of people in the comments were saying the engine's running very rich or very lean. Yeah, it, because it's hydrogen, it sounds a lot different when it does with petrol. Uh, however, it was vibrating a lot, and I believe that was because of the timing. In fact, if you watch the video where the 50cc engine sort of uh, came to a complete stop, uh, the, it died straight away. Uh, I believe that was because of excessive uh, piston slap. It actually smashed the, uh, the spark plug to bits and um, the excessive plane on, on inside the, the engine and the piston. And that's big, all big down to timing, I believe, at the end of the day. Uh, of course, the, the spark's going off too early. You have all that force from the piston traveling upwards. It, the hydrogen it, it detonates. Uh, and all that force is going to push the hydrogen back down before it gets to roll over. So. The only thing that's cranking it over at that point is the, is the extreme pressure that it's generated and the flywheel. Um, not, not good for the engine at all. So I've changed the engine timing now to exactly top dead center. I knew I had to do that all along, but if I'm completely honest with you, all these engines have been operating uh, with standard ignition timing, uh, which has been great because it means I can run them on hydrogen and then I can run them on petrol after. Um, but as we've seen at high RPM, at the, at, the, at the high performance range, that is just going to kill the engine. So to save this engine, uh, which is already suffering from a little bit of piston slap, but to save it, I've, I've set the ignition timing to top dead center. The hydrogen carburetor has obviously been tweaked again now. I'm also running, as before, water. So I've just quickly put this on, it's got a bit of water, it's gonna be feeding into the carburetor. That's gonna stop that pre-ignition. I've mentioned this before in previous videos. Um, it's gonna it's gonna throw water into the, the intake, um, which is fantastic for cooling. Um, not great for rust coming out the exhaust. The exhaust on this engine already has started to rust. So that's not that's not good at all. Um, so we are getting some leaks around here around the flange. Uh, but on the whole, the engine is running, it's performing, it's generating power, and it's doing all that with uh, no carbon emissions, or very, very little carbon emissions. Obviously, you're going to get a little bit of oil coming from the, from the, from the crankcase, seeping past the piston rings, or through the oil breather that you see here. Maybe you can uh, deploy an oil catch can. That might be an option to, to bring those carbon emissions down even more. But this engine, on the whole, from the hydrogen, is producing zero carbon emissions. Uh, just a little bit of NOx, obviously, from the air we breathe around us, which of course can be eliminated with a catalytic converter or reduced. And it's also going to be reduced over the fact that they are running a very rich hydrogen mixture, so there's not a lot of, of air going into the actual engine. Uh, and of course, we've got cooling to bring those uh, exhaust gas temperatures down. Awesome. So I'm going to connect this engine up to 3 PSI of hydrogen, which is pure hydrogen. Uh, I'm not going to prove to you that this is water and there's nothing else in there because we've all seen it before running on, on, on hydrogen. You just have to trust me that this is just drinking water. Um, and of course you can see that when I, when I, when I cut the engine's hydrogen, you'll, you'll see it. You'll see it come to a stop. So today, the aim with this, we're going to show you the engine running. And I'm going to aim to do an RPM test just so you can see the RPMs. Uh, I've got a small RPM tester. So yeah, let's fire it up, see how it goes. Okay, so we set up, we're good to go. We've got the gas tank connected up to the engine um, via the port down here. We've got the water uh, connected to the carb where the petrol would usually go. So it's gonna suck in a little bit of water. This is, again, as mentioned earlier, it's gonna uh, reduce the hot spots on the valve. 
reducing the, uh, the chance of pre-ignition. Uh, I know a lot of people are saying uh, in the comments, you know, why are you squirting water in there? It can damage the engine. Yes, it, it, it can, can cause rust. Um, this setup's pretty bad, obviously, if it's going to be sucking in the, the water even when the engine's cold, and we don't really want that. We only really want to introduce the water when the engine's at a good operating temperature because we want the water to evaporate. Uh, removing that heat and turning into steam coming out of the exhaust we don't really want the water sat in the engine when it's cold and or when you first uh, or when you switch off the engine you don't want the water being sat in there because that causes rust and this engine has started to get a little bit rusty on the inside um, but to prove that it is okay I'm going to be taking off the air filter when the engines are operating temperature and squirting some water mist into the engine um, if it starts backfiring what I'll do, I'll squirt some water in there to make the valve not so hot and that should eliminate some of the backfiring. So let's fire it up. So you've seen the engine running there, that's with the uh, new timing which is that top dead centre, we've got the water cooling, engine seems to run really well, uh, I think next time we're going to try and use uh, exhaust gas recirculation, I really think that's going to help the hydrogen engines, uh, just recapturing some of the, the water that's turned into steam, condense that back to water, recycle it round, also any hydrogen that has managed to uh, leave the combustion chamber unburnt because we are running a very uh, rich combustion some of that hydrogen might actually escape out the exhaust port so it's good to try and capture that and recycle it some of my earlier experiments actually uh, showed that i can operate the engine at a much lower pressure uh, have hydrogen feed going into the engine so the engine would actually idle at 1.5 psi instead of the 2 or 3 psi which it is currently that will save loads and fuel so that's the next step is to try exhaust gas recirculation so i'll look into that Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.